guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be making Mars bar cake. So for the Mars bar cake you need 100 grams of softened butter, 4 Mars bars chopped up, 1.5 tablespoons of golden syrup, 150 grams of Rice Krispies and 350 grams of milk chocolate. So let's get into the video. But first make sure to wash your hands, um, tie your hair back and clear the surface. Guys, so now we're going to get into the weighing. So what you need is your weighing scales and you're going to turn them on to zero. You're then going to get a bowl and put the bowl on top of the weighing scales to zero. You're then going to get your chocolate and put 350 grams of chocolate into the bowl. Make sure you're breaking it up because it's easier when it comes to the melting of the chocolate so this bar should come to 200 okay it lied it only comes to 183 so the shop actually lied okay so you need 350 grams of it so just gonna Took it in like that. Eight hundred and ten. Okay. Then you're gonna put your um some tin foil or cellophane over it. over it so the sun doesn't um, melt it while we're cooking the rest and put it to the side. So now we are going to get another bowl and we are going to do the same again but we are going to weigh out 100 grams of our soft butter into the bowl so just put 100 grams of the butter in to the bowl so that was only 98 so just go and put that much in yep if you do want to make extra then you can um now we are going to put it into our this bowl. So you're going to tip it in like that. You're then going to do one tablespoon and one tablespoon and a half of your golden syrup. So let's do that now. If you want it really golden syrupy then I would do a bit extra. So I'm just going to do a little bit more. Okay. So that's golden syrup done. The last thing you need to do is, you might need adult help for this. But what you're going to do is you're going to cut your Mars bars into the bowl. Just going to break it up and put it in like that. It just makes it easier. So you need four Mars bars. So these are actually uh, twin packs. So I have got four. They're just coming in one packet. Okay. So now that you've done that, we're going to get into the melting part. For this, you need adult supervision because you're going to be using the hob to melt your um, chocolate in the bowl. So let's do that. Okay, guys. So for this part of the um, 
boiling bit, you're going to need a saucepan that makes your bowl sit on top of it. You're also going to need to um, have some water boiling in the kettle, which you're going to put in the bottom of here. This helps speed up the process of the melting. You're also going to need a spatula to mix it so that none of it gets stuck to the bottom of the bowl. So let's do that. Okay, guys. So my kettle has boiled, so I'm now going to tip it in the water into the bowl. Remember, it's very hot, so you do need your adult to help you with this. Just going to tip a little bit of boiled water in the bottom of your bowl. You're then going to place your cooking bowl on top of the water, like that. After that, you're going to turn your oven on. This always takes a bit of time because my ovens are a bit... I'm going to do it to five. And then you're going to want to get your spatula. I'm just going to want to mix it around the bowl like this just so that not only is it melting everything but it's melting it all and all of it is getting flavour if you feel like it's not melting quick enough you can um, turn your kitchen oven or hob up sorry um to make it go faster so you're just gonna want to keep mixing it around making sure none of it is getting stuck to the bottom of the bowl hopefully it will start to melt very soon because it seems to be taking its time okay so as you can see that the butter has started to melt um so we're just going to keep mixing and letting it melt. Hopefully the Mars bars will start to melt soon. Come back when it's all melted. Okay guys, so now that you have your melted um, chocolate, you're going to take the bowl and put it onto a surface that isn't the main bit because obviously your bowl is going to be very hot. Then you're going to put this to leave to cool so don't actually touch this because the steam will be very hot that's coming off it. And we're just going to weigh out our 150 grams of Rice Krispies to put into the bowl. So let's do that. Okay guys, so now that you have your weighed out 150 grams of Rice Krispies, we're going to go over to our bowl, which is obviously got the hot chocolate melted sauce in it. And we are going to pour in our Rice Krispies. And then we are going to mix the chocolate in to the rice. Like this. Make sure you get all your rice krispies. I have spilt some on the floor, but that is fine because we can clean them up after. So we're just going to keep mixing until all the rice krispies are covered up nicely with the sauce. If you hear um, some toys in the background, it's just Alfie playing with his car. Right, so I have a nicely mixed bowl full of Mars Bar Rice Krispie flavour. So we are now going to get into the next stage. So for this, I will just pause the video and then play it when I've got what we need to do for the next stage. So put the bowl to the side and let's do that.
Okay guys, so now it's aligning your tin. So I'm actually going to use some special tin foil that helps with non-stick. So you can use butter, but you're just going to fully cover it to make sure that it's covered. So I'm going to push it down to the size of the cake tin. And then you're going to wrap it around um, the sides. Make sure that you have enough to wrap around the edges. If you don't, then you can get a bit more, like this. I'm just going to put another bit on. But this way, at the edge of the cake tin. As you don't want your um, cake, you don't want your mixture to like stick to the side of it. Okay. So now that that's done, you're going to pour in your Rice Krispies like so. So now that you have a tin aligned with your Rice Krispies, you're going to get on to the melting, the um, chocolate. So for this, you need a separate bowl and you're going to pour in your 250 grams of milk chocolate. You're then going to get into the melting part. So let's do that. Okay, guys, so <clears throat> I have my bowl and I have my chocolate. I'm going to pour the chocolate into a bowl like so. And then I'm going to place it on to the hot frying hot frying pan again with the water in I'm going to my worst part of it trying to turn this oven on because it never likes to turn on for me so we're going to put it to on again and then we're going to melt the chocolate so I'm going to use Spatula. I'm just going to be letting it melt first. I'm going to move these ready to be washed up. So make sure you keep an eye on it because obviously you don't want the chocolate to stick because then it will be ruined and you won't have any chocolate for the top of your thing that you are making we are obviously making mars bar cakes so we've got the mars bar rice krispies and now we are just melting out chocolate also the feet in the background are marmite 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 is here being a mischief making as much noise as she can Yes, I'm going to turn it up a bit because it seems to be taking its time. I'm going to just boil the kettle again and maybe fill some more water in there because there's not a lot of water. Come back when I've done the kettle. Okay guys, so I'm back and there is a lot more um, water in the bowl. So hopefully it will... Um, melt a bit quicker obviously you've got to make sure that it doesn't burn to the bottom because that is not what we want to do let me put you sideways okay sorry like if it's taken a while for you to watch this video today it has a lot more effort in it because we have to do a lot more melting of chocolate and stuff. That's probably why um, this video may be longer than what it should be. 
but obviously if you don't want to watch the melting bits skip along to the next part of the video if you do think it's taking a while because you've got too big of a chunks of chocolate you can just prod it with a knife but I think mine's okay if your water does start bubbling a lot just turn your um, hob down a bit because mine is bubbling a lot and we don't want to burn ourselves because we are only children remember and yeah if it does start to get out of hand and you worry that you're going to get burnt, um, make sure you do have an adult by your side. You should have an adult by your side anyway because it is hot and dangerous for young children. Obviously, it's very fun, but you have to think of the bad things that could also happen while we are doing this. So my chocolate has nearly all melted. I hope your has as well. Obviously people's hobs work differently than other people's. So yours may not have melted yet, but it may melt very soon. So obviously I still have some chunks, so I've still got to leave it on for a bit longer. I'll show you what it looks like in a second. Okay guys, so you can clearly see that it is melted. So what we're gonna do is we are going to turn off our ovens. Well, hobs. Mine is not working again. I hate this. It like, it likes everyone else, but it just hates me. Like literally, I'll be pressing it. Oh wow. <laughs> and we're gonna take the bowl off. So let's be sensible about this. So you're going to pick it up and put it onto the side like so. You're then going to move your pan, the hot hob, so it can cool down. Let's do the melting chocolate onto here now. So guys, this is good news. We are nearly at one of our last steps in the video. So this is pouring. So what you're gonna do, I like to use a spoon, but if you want, you can pour it off. So you're just gonna get your chocolate and you're gonna pour it on top of your Rice Krispies. Make sure you get it all over because you don't want to have some not covered because that wouldn't be very good, would it? So I'm just kind of going all over with it so that it spreads out evenly and we don't have areas on the Rice Krispies that haven't been covered yet. So I'm just doing this, like shaking, as you can probably see, just so that it's getting everywhere in the bowl. Because we don't want half of it to be covered and half of it not to be covered because that is not how it works. So, yeah. Obviously, after the last step, I will be back when it's finished because i have to show you what it looks like when it is fully done um it does take quite a bit of time to um cool so yeah i hope you've enjoyed this video this is the first time i've actually made this guys so you're not the only ones on this video who are doing something for the first time this is the first time i've made it but i'm sure it will taste amazing 
Okay, so just get a spatula and pull down the chocolate down your bowl so you get more chocolate because you don't want to waste any if you can help it. Okay, so come back when we are on to the next step. Okay guys, so the final step of this video is to put your Mars bar cake into the fridge. I would leave it in the fridge for about an hour, but if your um, chocolate on top is not fully um, hardened, then you can leave it in for a bit longer. So come back when it's obviously finished and everything is done. So guys, while you're waiting for your chocolate to cool and harden, you can start cleaning up around you. So let's do that. Let's clean up and let's enjoy. Okay guys, so the one hour is up. So we're gonna check it and we're gonna take it. So it's all done. So we're gonna take it out and we're gonna get it out the tray. So We'll put it on the side and we'll make that small and we will open up the baking tray. Get this loose out because it's on the your Mars bar cake and it looks amazing so you're gonna get your knife obviously an adult and you're gonna cut a slice and see how it turns out wow that's amazing I can't wait to eat it, it's going to taste amazing. Hope you liked the video. That's it. So guys, make sure to like and subscribe. And I hope you liked this video. And I'm thankful that you watched it. Please make sure to share with family and friends. And make sure that you try it out for yourself. Because it's easy, it's quick. And the out taste is amazing. So thank you and bye.